As I stand before you this morning to accept such a prestigious award that highlights my life of commitment, I cannot help but to think deeply about that which constitutes such a life. I am here preaching and teaching and resisting as gospel. I was born a womanist, trained first at the feet of my mother who told me, you can be anything you want to be. I was born a womanist, nurtured first in the church of my godmothers who assured me that God is not a man, that he should lie. I was born a womanist, though polished first in the classrooms of women like Joy Bostick and Emily Towns and Dolores Williams and Edwina Wright, who taught me the choreography of freedom, comprised of my mother's steps, and who impressed upon me my responsibility to teach the movement to all with ears to hear to teach the movement through intellectual activism that proclaims every day that black lives matter, through prophetic preaching that declares freedom now, that declares up you mighty people, accomplish what you will. And that is my commitment. As a womanist theologian and ethicist, working at the interstices of church, academy, and society, I engage to cultivate the moral imagination, the moral courage in classrooms that is the prerequisite for the work in the world, the work of dismantling structures of injustice with and on behalf of the minoritized among us, the poor, the black, the woman, the queer, the Muslim, the immigrant, the differently abled, the generationally ostracized. This is my commitment on behalf of those whose sandals I am unfit to carry that I accept this award. Thank you.